everyone, Random Randy here. This is Yarn Talk episode 60. Yarn Talk is a knitting, crochet, and fiber arts related podcast guaranteed to give you your recommended dose of fiber in 60 minutes or less. If you are worried that your fiber intake may be less than the recommended dose, you might want to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any future videos like these full of projects guaranteed to keep your hands and your heart full. So, been kind of having rough last couple of weeks, just various things in life occurring. But I do have a few finished things to show you and a few things I've made some pretty good progress on. For most of the summer, I'm probably only going to be doing an actual yarn talk every other week, but I will still have a video of some sort out every week. It might just be a vlog, it might be like the flash or stash videos, which I do have the second one filmed. I just need to get it edited. Haven't had a lot of computer time the last few days. Kids have been kids. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. So I'm going to start off with the few things I have finished and then I'm going to show you all the stuff I'm working on and then once all that is done I'm going to talk about my subscriber giveaway which I have put off long enough that I've gained 200 subscribers since I'd been meaning to do it. Yeah, so <laughs> going to start off with the finished things first. So have this monstrosity right here. This is the Stash Buster Amigurumi Jellyfish. The one in the pattern that I made it from, it is from a free pattern, by the way. They used safety eyes, but they used really big ones. And I didn't have any that were that big and I didn't feel like stitching them on. So I just decided that like an actual jellyfish, it doesn't have a face. This is actually double stranded and I used a K hook. This beast is 23 inches in diameter. So this could actually be a hat model because it's about the same size as my head. Yeah. So I was considering putting this in my shop, but paying for shipping on this would be a nightmare. So if the kids show interest in it again, I will either give it to them or if they totally just don't care, I'll set it aside. And if I end up doing a craft stall at any point this summer or fall, it'll go there. So there's one thing done and I will leave the link to the pattern for this in the description box below the video like I always do. I actually did the tendrils, tentacles, arms. I'm not sure what jellyfish appendages are actually called, but I don't think it's tentacles. Maybe I'm wrong. But anyway, in the pattern, they just do the really curly tentacles for the whole thing. But in between, I actually did tendrils that are just a regular chain. Because if you ever looked at a jellyfish, they tend to have the thicker arms and then they have the thinner ones too. So I thought this was pretty cool. And it used up a lot of my scrap balls of green and yellow and quite a bit of white and a little bit of black. So yay less yarn. Yay finished-ish thing. Next thing that I have done. I have a lot of partial balls of Bernat blanket yarn and I've been trying to figure out what to do with them because I kind of lost steam on knitting a scrap blanket. So I think I'm going to take all of these small partial balls of the blanket yarn I have and I'm going to be making crochet water balloons. It's kind of a misnomer to call them balloons because a lot of people have asked, well, how do you fill them? They're, they're full of holes. Well, you don't fill them. They're made of a fabric that 
absorbs quite a bit of water. So essentially you dump them into a bucket, they soak up all the water, and then you throw them at people and they hurt significantly less <laughs> than getting smacked with a water-filled chunk of latex. And you don't have to worry about the little pieces of it breaking off and getting eaten by birds, dogs, cats, other small woodland creatures, clogging up environmental issues. So much better option. I'm not sure if I'm going to want to put some of these in my shop once I make them or what I'm doing with them. Not sure yet, but I have four of them so far. This one is actually made from two different scraps and the light in here is horrible because it's overcast. So I have a light there, but it's kind of shining in my face funky. So apologies for that. But yeah, this is a darker blue and then a light blue. So there's two things that are finished. I have one mostly finished object. Last night, I actually finished my first witchy sock. Yay! So I actually have to sew in the end still. So I'm going to say it's 98% complete because I've got four or five more like six ends in here because once I got into the foot portion, there were a ton of knots in the yarn. I was like, are you effing kidding me? <laughs> yeah, not happy. I mean, the patterning still worked out okay, but man, frustrating to have all those extra ends inside to weave in. So I actually worked this one top down. So I started up here at the cuff and, you know, worked my way down, did the heel turn foot. And then I did Kitchener on the toe and I, my Kitchener stitch is horrible. It needs some practice. I need to just make a couple squares and practice putting them together to get better at it. But I need to sew in the little ears still on it. But like I said, I haven't woven in the ends inside, but just to show you up close, the way that it has kind of the banded look here. The heel is the same way. I'm not sure if I'll be able to spread it so that you'll actually be able to see the stitching detail. And this stitch marker is actually a gift from Claudia from Crochet Luna. And that is where I was the last time I showed you guys this sock. I had just finished turning the heel, so I have done this much of it. If I haven't mentioned it before, I have huge feet. I have a nine and a half to size 10 foot. So to make crew length socks is a substantial undertaking. I might be making, after I finish the second one, I might be making more, not ankle length socks, but not much higher than those. I don't even know what length you would call that because this is more of a traditional crew length. It's about mid calf, but I'm thinking leg length, maybe here-ish rather than all the way up here. So yeah, there's that. And because I'm using the pattern from the sock architecture book by Laura Neal, I'm using the what is it called? Dyad pattern. They actually have a cuff down and a toe up version. And since my Kitchener stitch is so horrible, I figured, what the heck, why not? I started the same sock, toe up. I'm using two circular nine inch needles and I'm doing the increases right now to get it up to the proper stitch count. And I don't know if you'll be able to see the way that the band is working up here in the middle, but it's gonna have that same look that the heel does, which I think is super awesome. And for starting out toe up, if you're using nine inch circulars, you wanna have two, cause it's a lot easier that way to have it to work with instead of feeling like you're gonna break your needle cause it's so tense for the first few rows. My little tip for people who are wanting to learn to knit socks. And those are in my bag, which is also from Claudia because she's awesome. And it's got her little nifty enamel crochet Luna pin there. So I'm keeping this in here to remind me, you can do it. It took you like 
when did I start that sock? It was either August or October <laughs> of last year. So it may have taken me <laughs> like more than half a year to do it, but I finished a full length sock. Yes, it is possible. <laughs> we can do it. We have the technology. The only other active whip that I have aside from my second sock for that pair is I have been working on the pink granny stripe blanket that I started way, 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 way too long ago. And I am making this with a combination of this Ice Yarns miscellaneous sail yarn. I think it's just ends of their self-striping yarn. And there's a variety of colors in them. There were eight of them in a pack. I might end up using all of them for this one. I'm definitely going to use at least six of these. I'm almost done with the last one that'll make it six. And this Big Twist Baby Yarn. This is the Strawberry Stripes colorway. But I started this a long time ago and I've pretty much just been going through my whips, trying to get rid of them, trying to finish them because I feel like I shouldn't be working on anything new until I get some of them gone. So should be done with this probably by the end of the weekend. This has become my TV work, honestly, because I don't have to look at it. And if you've ever seen me live stream, I don't usually have to look at my crochet anyway, unless it's a complicated pattern. But yeah, so this is where I'm at right now for size. It's the length that I want it to be this way, so now I'm just working on making it wide enough to be a blanket. It's supposed to be baby size, but it would work as a lapkin for a grown person as well. And this is what it's looking like. Which side is it on? And last time I showed it to you all, I only had it done up to here, but now I have just about doubled it. I really like the way it's working up. I'm pleased with it so far. It's it's a really, really simple pattern. Once you've just got the way that the ends of the rows work memorized, it's, it's brainless, which is awesome. It's just eating up the yarn and getting it gone. And I am using a 5.5 millimeter eye hook for this project. I use eye hooks for a lot of things. And this is actually a new thing for me too. I got the Susan Bates hook. It's got a handle on it, but it's not the really thick ergonomic handles. I don't like those. They're not comfortable for me. I crochet, I don't even know how to describe it. I don't do that weird pencil grip thing. I think this is called knife hand because it's, you know, the way that you'd use a knife, I suppose. I don't know, I've never really used a knife that way. I'm more of a chopping style knife person, but yeah. I really like this hook. Haven't had a problem with it. Susan Bates hooks are the best ones in my opinion. So that is really the only active work in progress I have right now. I do have a big list of all of my whips on a whiteboard up there that I've kind of been prioritizing and picking away at. The next thing I'm going to be working on once I finish that is I'm going to get the second dish towel done for my friend and get the two towel hangers for her stove done. I have been working on this a little. I'm just about done with the increases on it. So I suppose this could count as a whip too. I don't know why I didn't think of getting this out. But this is just the same dish towel pattern that I showed before. And I will make the same oops with it that I made with my first one, which is rather than continuing to do the decreases all the way down until it's a point and then picking up stitches, I'm going to just decrease it to a certain point and then grow it at the same size and then decrease more to make the loop for the handle. So it'll actually hang this way and it'll be diamond shaped instead of it going this way being rectangular. If you've seen when I showed the brown and white one before, you'll know what I'm talking about. If I have a picture, I'll insert it. If not, I'll link to the video that 
had that one in it if you're interested in seeing it. And if people are interested, I could write up my changes to the pattern. I don't know if I'd do a tutorial, but I could just write it up and put it on my blog. It would also be easier for me to replicate it again later if I wanted to. Probably be a smart idea. The other thing that I wanted to talk about was how awesome the crafting community here on YouTube is. I actually got a package today. Today is Thursday the 17th, maybe? Is it horrible that I don't know what the date is today? I never know what date it is. I'm my life is such a mess right now. <laughs> but anyway, I got a package today from Elizabeth who has the channel A Crafty Crocheter. And a few videos ago when I was in the thick of, oh my lord, I cannot stitch these zero loveys together fast enough. And it's funny because now I haven't had a sale on one in like weeks. It's so weird how it comes and goes in cycles. But anyway, I had mentioned that I wished that I had somebody I could outsource to do things like just make the squares for me or whatever. I got a box today full of bags of lovey parts. She made ears and the squares for the body and noses and eyeballs. So all I have to do is put the borders on the squares and make the heads and stuff them and stitch everything together. She gave me enough stuff for 10 zero loveys. Elizabeth, I know you're probably watching this. You are amazing and so sweet. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much. So awesome. I couldn't believe it. Really? That's so awesome. So yeah. So now I'm kind of excited about making the heads because then I can have just a box of them set aside and ready to go. Fingers crossed that that means that I will sell all of them before the summer is out. That would be nice. Then I could just gradually, like I was planning before, add one or two of them to my inventory every week-ish. That way I've always got a few made ahead. Be really, really nice. Last thing I'm going to show before I get into the giveaway information is just a little bit of acquisitions. I mean, it's been two weeks since I did a yarn talk and I've actually had some of this for a while. I forgot about it because I had just stuffed it in a bag and put it under my desk until I'd have time to deal with it and put it away. I have a few things from Joann's and I actually have a few things from Knit Picks because I did make another order of the Plain Bear Sock Yarn and I dyed up 10 skeins of it yesterday. It's drying on the rack right now, but it is primarily in the Harlot colorway scheme. I did four skeins of that, which is just the orange, black, and chartreuse green stripes. And I did a speckled version and I did a few kind of lucky dip-ish ones with what was left over. So I'll put a picture of that just to show you what it looks like now. It is still all drying, so I don't have it in my shop yet, but I will be taking pictures and getting all of that stuff done. That's all on my list of stuff to do this weekend. As soon as I'm done filming this, I'm gonna be going and taking pictures of everything so that I can do a few listings because I still haven't put my cotton up yet and I just, I'm so behind. I am behind on life, you guys. It is horrible. So, to show the things from Joann's first, because they're nothing really super exciting, but I know that any yarn to some people is exciting. So, I figured I would show you what I got. Put that. Hmm. So I wanted to try out the Red Heart Ombre yarn. I actually have two skeins of this particular colorway. This is the anthracite colorway. As you can see, it's just a whole bunch of shades of gray. And these are 10 ounce balls, 482 yards. So I got two of these, and I got two of the cocoa colorway, which as you can see, is just a bunch of different shades of brown, which I really liked. So I got two of those. What else? 
I have a bunch of like sewing machine needles and stuff in here, but I know that's not really anything of particular import to most of you. I also got this just to try it out. This is Red Heart Bunches of Hugs. I think that this is their answer to Lion Brand's Pound of Love. This is supposed to be a worsted weight medium thickness yarn. I would say that it is closer to a DK or a light worsted in my opinion. It's not as thick as say a super saver. It is still acrylic. It's very soft, but this is 948 yards and a 14 ounce skein of yarn. This is a lot of yarn. And this is obviously black, but the colorway on it is licorice. The other thing that I got, is that the bag that's got it all? Yeah. I got a bunch of sewing machine needles and that's all the jingly in there. But this other thing is another Red Heart Bunches of Hugs, but this is a striping one and this is called Prince. With this being a non-solid color one, this has significantly less yardage. This is a 10 ounce ball that is 678 yards. And as you can see, it's just a few different shades of blue and white, which I thought was pretty cool. So that is that. That's my goodies from Joann's. I also got myself a better loom hook because the only ones I have have the really thin handles and my hands cramp. I'd really like to use my loom more, my authentic knitting board loom. So I got one of the better hooks. Hoping that'll make it more enjoyable. Even though I do knit, sometimes I don't want to knit. <laughs> I wonder where that second one got off to. I'm sure I'll find it. I know I wound it up into a cake. I just don't remember which bag I put it in. I've got like four bags behind me of stuff I'm working on. So it's there somewhere. It isn't completely disappeared. It's there somewhere. And the other thing is, aside from the bear yarn that I got at Knit Picks, their Chroma yarn was on sale. I don't know if they're not going to be carrying it anymore, if they're just clearing out all the current colorways that they have. You know, Knit Picks does a yarn of the month sale all the time. So I got a few different ones, primarily because the first yarn that I ever dyed, that one with the orange and the black that I made my shorty socks with, was a chroma yarn and I don't have any other chroma. And I still have like half a ball of that yarn. So I wanted something I could use with it. I figured, well, since it's only $7 for a hank of fingering yarn, get a couple, why not? <laughs> so I got a few different colorways. I got this one, which is Pegasus. And these are 70% superwash wool, 30% nylon, 437 yards, and a 100 gram hank. And this is a whole bunch of purple, blue, yellow, green. And they're actually twisted together. So you have two different colors in the plies, so it gives it a different effect through the whole thing. I really liked the way that this one looked. So I got this one. Got this one, which is more of a summery color. This one is called Confetti. Similar color scheme, but kind of more pastel. And I know that just the other day I was complaining about pastel colors, but I really liked this one in particular. It kind of is just a more muted version of this with a little bit of orange thrown in for color. Then this one is called Carnival, aptly so look at the colors on there you'll know why and to coordinate with everything else I got two of this gray that is called fog bank yeah fog bank because I figured I could use this for heels and toes on anything else I want to do with all of the rest of this chroma yarn so I've got these, and now I'll be able to use up the last of the first yarn that I dyed, which I really, really like. But I didn't want to make... Maui! Your Maui? Yeah, I want up. What? Yeah. You're gonna go save Moana? Oh, good. <laughs> oh, my child. 
So I'm excited to have that. Like I said, I did get all of that. I still have one 10 pack of the bare sock yarn left. I still have some worsted weight. I have a ton of sport weight. I actually need to list my gradient yarns and my coordinating speckle for sport weight and my sparkle sock yarns. I have so much stuff just sitting here that I need to take pictures of. It's horrendous. I need to take a day and just have my husband take the kids out of the house so I can just take pictures and post Etsy listings because it is bad. Last thing. Subscriber giveaway! Yay! Finally doing it. So, I was at like 1693 this morning when I looked, so I'm just gonna call it 1700 subscriber giveaway. The giveaway formerly known as Randy's 1500 subscriber giveaway. <laughs> I wanted this to be packed with good stuff that wasn't just yarn. This bag was made by the awesomely talented Kendra of Hooked by Happenstance. She has a, actually two YouTube channels. One is Hooked by Happenstance, the other is her daily vlog channel Happenstance Place, and she has an Etsy shop. This is a large size project bag. It has kind of watercolor feather details and it says kind heart, fierce mind, brave spirit. Has the boxed bottom, has the wrist strap. It is a zippered bag and I have it full of stuff. It's gonna be for one lucky viewer. So first thing is this cute little water bottle with owls on it. Kind of going with the wisdom thing. More owls, super cute socks with little owls on them. And just about everything else in here is tools. Have very short scissors. These are the type of scissors that I use. I did have a purple pair from a different brand before, but I found these ones for a third of the price. So I figured I'd give them a try and they are quite sturdy and they work just as well. They are very sharp, but these are so small that they fit perfectly into any sort of project or notions bag without taking up a lot of space. So pair of scissors and a set of finishing needles. Pom-pom makers, lots of them. This is for the extra small size. It has one that makes three quarter inch diameter and one that makes them in one inch diameter. Those are clovers. These are the small size and they make one and three eighths inches and one and five eighths inches. They're all the same type. And this one is for the medium and the large. The whole set says large, but there's actually one that's bigger than this. You can get one that's jumbo that's super, super huge. And this makes pom-poms that are two and a half and three and three eighths inches. I usually just use this big blue one if I'm making anything for an adult with a pom-pom and I use this one for kid size hats. And popular demand, unless the person who wins says they totally want the other one. Most people voted for the Earth Angel yarn, the pastry petite from Hirschner's. So you're gonna get two cakes of this yarn, which is a DK weight, it's 100% acrylic, 364 yards per cake. So more than enough for most projects. You're going to get all of that. So, and this is open worldwide. This is probably going to be the last physical giveaway I'm going to do because shipping is crazy expensive and even stateside shipping has gone up a lot this year. Enough so that I've actually gone from offering free shipping 
in the US that I now am charging for shipping because when I was paying for free domestic shipping last year, it was like six bucks for a flat rate envelope and now it's $7.50 for that same size. So that's a lot of extra money for me to be taking off my bottom line with each order. Yeah, joys of, you know, running a business and trying to make a little money and not just be a hobby crafter. If all that you're going for when you're selling your stuff is to make back your materials, that's great, that's awesome. That's not what I'm going for. And to enter the giveaway for the project bag with all of the goodies in it, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel and comment down below with your favorite song. If you could only pick one song, we're not talking like I usually do and I'm like, oh, well, I can't pick one favorite. If you had one song that you had to listen to for the rest of forever and that was the only song that you could listen to, what song would it be? So let me know that down in the comments below the video. This giveaway is not associated in any way, shape or form with YouTube or any other social media nonsense. So that CYA there. <laughs> So that I believe is all of my stuff for now because I do have a bunch of other stuff I need to get done. Like I said, I need to take pictures. I need to take pictures so bad and I don't want to, I don't want to do it guys. I'm gonna, but I don't want to do it. <laughs> I'm going to whine and cry the whole time because I don't want it to. <laughs> so be on the lookout, hopefully. Don't hold me to it because with the way things have been going, I can't make a guarantee, but I am hoping to, by the time this goes up tomorrow, like I said, it's Thursday, I'm going to have this go up on Friday. I should have at least my cotton posted to the shop, the cotton that I've dyed, and maybe some other stuff. We'll see. Anyway, thank you so much everybody for watching and thank you so much again elizabeth for sending the parts for zero lovies that is really so sweet and i'm so thankful <sighs> i wish i lived close to closer to crafty people <laughs> anyway melancholy kind of day so hope you all are having an awesome start to your weekend and i will catch you all in the next video bye